welcome back to Life and Surround. This is a very special time for me. We have reached 100 subscribers, and I wasn't sure that we would ever do that, but there are evidently 100 other people out there who are interested in surround music, so it's good to know. <laughs> Thanks for your support of the channel, and I hope that we'll have some very good times in the days, weeks, months, and years to come. I wanted to celebrate this milestone by focusing on some very, very favorite albums for the next few videos at the very least. Just to get this year going on a positive note and to simply enjoy this hobby of surround listening and YouTube video making to the fullest. Okay? So with that, and to celebrate the fact that I've seen this bucket list artist twice in the last couple of months. I want to present today Moon Dance by Van Morrison on Blu-ray, available only in this booklet format, four CDs and a Blu-ray. So you get the album remastered recently by the original mixing engineer, more on that later, three CDs worth of session material, so alternate takes and some songs that didn't make the album. And then finally the Blu-ray with high resolution stereo and high resolution 5.1 of the album. I don't need to go a whole lot into how great and marvelous Moondance is. It's one of the most iconic, classic, rock, fusion, folk albums of all time. At least it is in my mind. I have to assume that it is in many, many, many other households out there. So let me go into my history with Van Morrison and Moondance, I guess. I became aware of Van Morrison due to his greatest hits collection, his best of, which in my opinion is one of the best compilations of an artist out there. It actually has a flow and a character as its own unique album, and that's pretty remarkable, I think, for a best of compilation. Among the songs that you'll find on there are And It Stoned Me and Moon Dance. One cool thing about compilations of that sort is they can give you a jumping off point into albums of interest based on the tracks in the compilation. At some point, I decided to pick up Moon Dance not only for the songs that were on the Best Of compilation, but also for the iconic sleeve of the LP itself. I fell in love with the album. It definitely has a more memorable and catchy side A. But I find as I give this album more and more deep listens that it's side B that has a little bit more staying power for me. Mostly because the songs haven't been overexposed on radio and in movies but also because the songs simply do stand up on side B. And because they're a little less hooky, they have a chance to grow on you more over time. So some thoughts on the booklet. It does have an attractive design, but some things that I wasn't super crazy about was that when I got mine, the front inside book cover was glued to this sort of onion paper page and that ripped part of the design. So, not super crazy that that happened. But it does have some nice photos. It's got the original Janet Planet poem, which has a certain kind of charm. It's got a big, long essay that I haven't read yet. But the coolest thing by far, in my opinion, as far as extra information given with this deluxe set, is the short memoir by Elliot Shiner. I had no idea that Elliot Shiner was the original mixing engineer on Van Morrison's Moon Dance. Now, as you may be well aware from quite a few of my previous videos, I consider Elliot Shiner the godfather of surround sound. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. And to get more of a glimpse of his history with this set was pretty cool. I'm well aware that he has done a stupendous job remixing lots of classic and pop albums into 
5.1. I wasn't really aware of his career before that point. And to find out that he was the sound engineer on one of uh, my favorite albums of all time is just a pretty cool surprise treat. So he reminisces about what it was like to get his first big break on uh, what would become a classic album, though nobody knew it at the time. There was a good vibe as the album was being recorded. He was nervous as he submitted his draft mixes to Van, and he never heard back, but the album was eventually greenlit through other channels. The mix was greenlit to be mastered, and so um, I suppose that means that Van liked Elliot Shiner's mixes. So, of course, back in 1969, this was just stereo. And uh, very, very cool that when Warner Brothers sought to uh, release this as a deluxe set, that they got a hold of Elliot Shiner to mix the album into 5.1. He discusses how there were challenges involved because Moon Dance was an eight track recording and everything was essentially recorded in mono. So mono vocals, mono Van Morrison guitar, mono main guitar, mono drums, mono bass, mono keys, mono horns, etc. With limitations such as that, you may anticipate like a hardcore four-corner panned mix, but that's not what Shiner gives you. He gives you a very modern sounding mix. The main vocal feels centered, and parts are spread in a very natural way through the surround field. Sometimes you have horns in the back right, sometimes a piano is there, sometimes backup singers are in the rear left and right, you get supportive guitars in the rears occasionally. He doesn't just set it and forget it on this album. On a case-by-case, song-by-song basis, you get instruments placed very tastefully, very appropriately, but very discreetly in the surround field, including some instruments and important musical parts hard panned to one or both surrounds. So, in other words, you get a bona fide, classic, full-fledged Elliot Shiner mix that you've come to expect from his other great mixes, but done from a pretty early 8-track source. And I think, given that limitation, he absolutely knocks this out of the park. This is a stupendous-sounding 5.1 Blu-ray. My one minor quibble with the Blu-ray is that when I put it into my players, it auto-plays, which is nice, but it auto-plays a split second too late, like as music has already started on And It Stoned Me. So I find that I have to hit the track back button or pause in the track back button. It's not the end of the world, uh, but it's just one of those minor irritations. It'd be nice if they padded that first track with two seconds of silence or something like that. I had a fabulous time finally seeing Van Morrison live. Uh, if you have any question about whether you should go see him on tour right now with his current lineup and in his current voice, absolutely. His voice sounds seasoned and mature, but powerful. In my opinion, he sounds almost like part of the horn section. Like he just has this powerful delivery and a lot of punch and um, quite a bit of range, especially for his age. Um, he's arranging everything in kind of a jazzy, bluesy way right now, even classic songs. There'll be a rocking moment here or there, but even an out-and-out -out rock song will have a return to jazz for the choruses or for the verses or somewhere along the line. Anyway, I had a fantastic time seeing him live. Las Vegas, by the way, is one of the best places for acoustics that I'm aware of for full-on loud rock show. I saw Rush at the MGM a couple of years ago, and that was, at the time, the best-sounding rock concert I've ever been to. The same is true of Van's show just a few days ago at Caesars Coliseum. It was just phenomenal. You could hear the little chick 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 of the drums as the drummer dropped the foot pedal, um, all the way to every single note of percussion, every accent on 
the snare, all the ghost notes and stuff. It was just so clear and not overpoweringly loud either. Man, I mean, it was just a golden, gorgeous concert sound. And to pregame flying out for that show, I put on Moondance and um, just found it to be every bit as much a delight as it always has been since I obtained it a few years ago. Apparently Van Morrison was not happy about Warner Brothers releasing Moondance as a deluxe set. He felt they were just trying to fleece the fans. And given that at the time you had to pay somewhere in the 50s of dollars for the set, I guess I could see that. I ended up waiting it out and getting it in like the low 40s. And for five discs and some good liner notes, um, I don't consider that to be highway robbery, but, you know, that's not the way that Van saw it. And so far, he hasn't authorized anything else to be released in 5.1, and I sure wish he would. So, Van, if you or your record company or your label, your manager, your lawyers, anybody out there watches this video, I love Moondance in 5.1. It's a cherished disc. I listen to it as often as I can. I would love to hear newer, uh, later albums get the surround treatment. I would love for you to put out a concert of your current tour. Man, you sound awesome. And you have a super cool band put together that just complements what you're trying to do right now. And um, they all vibe well together. You have a good thing going. So, man, put out a show and get either Elliot Shiner to mix it because he does really great live mixes or maybe his son, Matt, or shit, send me your tracks. I'd be happy to mix um, some stuff for you into 5.1. Anyway, this has been Van Morrison's Moon Dance in 5.1 on Blu-ray, mixed by Elliot Shiner, the original mixing engineer on the a r Records sessions back in 1969, and I think it was released in 1970. But if you don't have this and you're into surround music and you even like Van Morrison a little bit, like you know Brown Eyed Girl and Moondance, if you're even a mild fan or just feel like maybe you're looking for a gateway into Van Morrison's music, do yourself a favor. Pick this up. Uh, take it from me. It's extremely special. This is a great artist coupled with a great surround engineer who happened to be there at the original sessions. Uh, Moondance just can't get any better. I mean, this is just fantastic. I was going to make a pun and say fantastic, but uh, that would be beneath me. Anyway, as you can tell, I'm a bit excited. I, I loved the show. I love this album. I love that I get a chance to share it with you all. I encourage you, if you don't have this, it is reasonably priced at this moment. In fact, I'll drop a link below the video. I never do that, but I'll go ahead and do that. Pretty soon I'm gonna try to make a video about like how I shop for surround music because I tend to be pretty frugal and find some pretty good deals. And I wonder if everyone else out there just looks at Amazon and doesn't look any further or something like that. But anyway, um, happens to be a good price on Amazon US right now. But uh, I've been rambling. This has been Van Morrison's Moon Dance in 5.1 on Blu-ray. Please, 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 if you don't have this, go find it. If you like surround music and folk, rock, fusion, jazz, soul, you can't possibly be disappointed with this. As always, if you enjoy this video, thumbs up, please. If you don't enjoy this video, thumbs down. Either way, leave some comments so I know what you're thinking. I love interacting with comments um, when I'm able to. And ring the notification bell, subscribe, share the video, tell your friends, <laughs> tell your family, create redundant accounts, and subscribe again, whatever you <laughs> need to do to support the channel. I'm just trying to get my love of surround music out there uh, in a way that hasn't been done before. It's the first channel on YouTube that is dedicated to surround music. So 
I'm just trying to spread the love of this hobby and hopefully grow the number of participants in this hobby so we all benefit in the long run. And until next time, I just want to encourage you to live life in surround. Thank you.